CNN team reporting from southern Ukraine has survived a very, very close call, narrowly escaping as artillery fire hit just yards away. The camera was still rolling as our senior international correspondent, Ben Wiedemann, and his crew raced to safety. Watch this. Okay. Down here, John, down here. Keep on rolling. You see it over there? We hug the earth. Two more artillery rounds. Oh, shit. And so we run with full body armor to the cars. Go, 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 go. All right, we're now we're trying to get out of this area as quickly as possible. Our other car completely destroyed. Thank God, Ben Wiedemann uh, and the crew, they're okay. Uh, ben is joining us now from Nikolaev. Uh, ben, tell us more about this truly harrowing experience. Well, we arrived at these trenches uh, about six or seven kilometers from the Russian front lines, uh, and it was relatively quiet, and we were just trying to engage the soldiers there uh, to find out how the situation here, was, and uh, this shell comes slamming in very close to us. Uh, we took cover, and then another two shells landed, uh, one of them maybe 10 yards from one of our cars. And so we went running towards the cars uh, to try to get out of the area after the officer in charge of that position told us we should leave because there might be more incoming rounds, only to find that our car, one of the two cars, was completely destroyed. All the windows shattered. Uh, there was petrol uh, all over the ground around the car. All the tires were flat from the shrapnel, so we had to pile into the second car. Uh, we're a total of six people, and that's a car really for only seats for five. And our producer, Karim Khadr, had to get in the back of the car and drive like crazy out of there. The second car was also hit by shrapnel, uh, but it was still able to get us uh, back to Mikolaev. So it was indeed a close call, and I've had a few close calls in uh, my time, but we got back to Mikolaev to find out that this city today has been hit by multiple rocket attacks, Russian rocket missile attacks, killing 10 people, wounding 46. One of those strikes, which killed nine people, uh, was on a marketplace not far from here, and this seems to be the pattern. While we're seeing this artillery barrages on the outside of town, the city itself is getting pounded every single day. Even hospitals have been hit. Wolf? Well, thank God you're okay. And th thank God the crew is okay. Uh, a, a truly a horrible, horrible experience. And you've covered several wars over these years here at CNN. So I'm grateful you're okay and, and, and your whole team is okay. Thanks very much for that report, Ben Wiedemann. Pretty scary stuff.